In this lesson, I'll show you several examples on how to write nuclear equations for beta decay, positron emission, and electron capture. Question 1 reads, write the nuclear equation for each decay process. For A, they want beta decay in the element berkelium-249. During a beta decay, one of the neutrons in the nucleus suddenly changes into a proton, causing an increase in the atomic number of the element. So let's write down BK, which is the atomic symbol of this element, and it has an atomic mass of 249. Its proton count before the decay is 97. And as mentioned, the atoms will increase in their atomic number. So this becomes 98. The atomic mass always remains the same when writing these. The nuclide, of course, has changed, so we're no longer going to use berkelium. We'll just put a question mark there for now. And also, there's an emission of an electron which has an atomic mass of zero, and we'll write down negative one for its proton count. To find this, all we have to do is look for the 98th element on the periodic table, and it actually should be californium, which has the atomic symbol of CF. That's the answer to question A. Let's move on to B. Positron emission in K40. Remember, K is potassium. In a positron emission, the atomic number decreases by one, and the mass number remains unchanged. So it's the opposite of what we did here. Let's write down K40. It has 19 protons. And as mentioned, this will decrease by one. And make sure that when you're doing this, you switch K with argon, which is the element that has 18 protons. So I hope I'm not misleading you here, but K should be replaced with AR. The mass stays the same, plus an electron, and its charge will be plus one. The reason why this happens is because during a positron emission, the nucleus ejects a positron, or a positive equivalent of an electron. This, just like beta decay, is also considered a radioactive decay. Moving on to C, an electron capture of iodine 111. Question C, iodine has a mass of 111, and its atomic number is 53. During an electron capture, the atomic number decreases by one, and the mass number remains unchanged. And because an electron is being captured, we write down electron on the left side of the equation. And as mentioned, 53 will become 52. That's the 52nd element, that's tellurium, and the mass stays as 111. Notice that in all three of these equations, the numbers are all equivalent. For example, we have 249 on the left side and 249 on the right side and the atomic numbers also match. 97 is equivalent to 98 minus 1. You want to make sure that that's the case, and if that's not the case, then you've probably done something wrong. If you would like to see the answers to these questions, please continue watching video 2 of this series, and these solutions will be covered. We'll see you soon.